Um, so let's talk a, just a, a little bit of strategy that we're picking up, uh, a little discussion. Uh, feel free to chime in with some things you're seeing. What I, what I see in this game is that you have a lot of tactical decisions, right? Um, there are a few clear obvious points like make sure you place your uh your you know your least you know the the, the worst numbers that are that are meshing with with your strategy in orange um into alaska and, and hawaii but if you notice like look at the map it's like one two three three two one two three six five like there's a lot of groups of numbers going on here so i think you want to don't put a one on Tennessee. Ones and sixes are rough. That is a great point. So, uh, do you where? What do you do with your ones and sixes? I think you want to really think wisely about putting them in the center of the map because they're less likely to um, they're less likely to be a usable number in the future. Uh, in, in addition to that, I, some strategy that I was picking up was on the X's. When you place an X, that can be a really interesting and tactical decision. There was one time where I think I placed an X up here that when I when I rolled this three, I don't think I would have been able to place it, but because I placed the guard, you know, in between um, this space and that space, it allowed both of them to have a lot more flexibility. So that was the guard. Placing X's, I felt the same way once or twice. Like I think the Tennessee X was good because it separated that yellow regions where these two could now be placed, but like these three together were going to be kind of a pain in the butt, um, especially if a tough number gets, uh, you know, comes up like a five and you don't need it. It's it's just not what you're looking for. That can ruin your region. So knowing when you're going to like kind of derail the region and when to color change it, when to guard it, that's I think really important. Um, some of these central spots seem really tough. My first guard I put on Florida because I really knew what I was doing uh, before I really knew, knew what I was doing. That I totally agree. That could have been more strategic. So uh, an edge, an edge state, is not a great candidate for a guard in my opinion. You want to be able to use those to you know to help you create e extra boundaries to almost see how I kind of created this uh, Alaska. I created Maine as kind of an Alaska with that guard. Guarding ones and sixes seems helpful too. I totally agree. Um, I, you know, I, I didn't pick up on that for the six, but for the one, I think just intuitively, I was like, yep, I think this is really smart. Dupe. So we didn't actually, I didn't play a dupe. I'd be curious to see if other people played dupe. Um, dupe, I think, can come in handy. And there might have been once or twice where I should have used it, like some of these twos over here that would have filled in this X. Um, a dupe. Uh, I had a green two over here, two would have filled in this X. So I think I probably could have gotten to a six maybe if I would have played a little a little bit more strategic with dupe and knowing when to use it. But man, it, it feels so it, it, it feels so unintuitive to use dupe. So um, also filling a region. I think let's talk about filling a region because filling a region allowed me to bypass this six of purple that I I would have um, actually been able to play. So in that case, like I probably, <laughs> dupe is the least intuitive. So in that case with the six purple, I probably wouldn't have, would have been able to play it um, had I, you know, maybe not color change something into a purple. That would have been a lucky play anyway, but filling a region um, allowed me to bypass this so I didn't take an additional X in the purple region. Um, you know, provided I had an open spot for it. However, in that situation, you're technically not making a mark on your board. And so you're technically not filling up an empty state. And so in my mind, filling up a region too soon is just more X's waiting to happen. Um, so it, it's kind of a nice little balance on the color change because color change is a really strong ability. The wild is also a really strong die. If you put sync all your resources into blue right away, um, and then you start rolling blues, you're essentially giving yourself X's for, you know, going outside um, into other areas. So, so I, or, or going into other colors, you know, too, I guess being too invested in one color is what I'm trying to say. One thing I, I have seen someone do is when they use a color change or a dupe, um, they like mark the color that they, they put it on. So they'll like, 
they'll, they'll indicate to themselves what color they've put their additional resource into or their, their additional investment into so that they don't do that too many times so that they don't end up not you know being able to utilize their roles by filling up a region too too soon and i think that's like kind of a, a a late game strategy that it doesn't always help you but if you if you're keeping track of where you're spending your resources you're not um, likely to color change into purple too many times and thus uh wind up filling that region too soon so